Get ready with me for my daughter's picture day for her first dance recital. She's going to be in the Nutcracker in Waltz of the Flowers. And I'm going to start off by wetting her hair so I can slick it back nicely into a ballerina bun. She has lots of little baby hairs and flyaways, so we want to get them all back in there. I'm also adding some gel in there to keep it slicked back. We had a little bit of a scissor incident at preschool, so it's hard to get some of those pieces in there as well. I'm just glad it was her own hair and not another student's. Comment below if you had a scissor incident with your child. She's pretty happy with her snack while I do this. She stays mostly still. She's very curious about everything. She can see the camera right now. I'm going to go ahead and put a sock bun over it and pick up the ponytail, droop it in the front. We want as much of the hair visible in front as we can because she doesn't have a whole lot of hair to work with, but I'm gonna take this hair net, wrap it around once with the loose ends sticking out still, secure it with a hairpin, and then I'm going to twist it around again, letting the hair net scoop the rest of the hair that's hanging out right now. And I'm gonna secure that with some more hairpins. I also wanna make sure I have hairpins securing the sock bun to her head so it doesn't start flopping around. This will be especially important for the actual dance recital, but this is just picture day, so I'm not too worried. Her hair is just long enough that it mostly fits into this high bun, but I gotta get lots of hairpins back here so we don't lose them. I want the bun nice and high so it can be visible and also so it doesn't get destroyed in the car seat on the way over to our photo session. Now I'm securing a couple more pieces on the side. I think we're a little bit lopsided, but that's probably the best we can do for a three-year-old. And the final spray to smooth down those baby hairs. And now we're ready for the makeup. She thinks this is fun. It reminds her of getting her face painted. This is only the second time she's worn makeup. The first time was a trial run for me. I am not a makeup expert. I literally had to buy makeup in order to do her stage makeup. All we're doing is bringing out her eyes, her eyebrows, her cheeks and her lips, keeping it pretty natural, but just a little bit darker so that we can see it against the stage lights and the camera lights. I want to emphasize for her that we're not doing this for beauty. We're doing this because it's fun and it helps people see your face when you're dancing. Makeup is for artists. Makeup is for performers. Wearing makeup does not have to be about vanity or hiding insecurities. And I hope I can help her to grow up understanding these things. I didn't use any mascara because it's going to be a nightmare to remove right before her uh, bedtime. So for now, I'm just gonna do this powder eyeliner. And of course, we immediately smudged it, but I think that'll last until the photos. I might end up using mascara for the recital because I think her performance is pretty late in the show and I wanna make sure that her eyes aren't all smudged by then. Now I'm gonna let her see how she looks after sitting and waiting so patiently. She's pretty happy with it. She likes her pink cheeks because pink is one of her favorite colors, pink and yellow. And here is a better look at the hair and makeup and my horrible dining room lighting. Hopefully it'll turn out okay in front of the camera. And here she is with the final touches, ready to smile and pose with her cousin for her first dance recital picture day.